banking deal and talk about tri-continental, John. We've got Sumitomo talking to Royal Bank of Scotland about buying its U.S. unit of Citizen Bank, and it adds up to a lot of money. Yeah, we're only in talks at the moment, but this would be quite an exciting deal. It could potentially be up to $18 billion in size if you compare RBS's citizen unit in the U.S. with its comparable peers. That would be one of the biggest banking deals we've seen since the financial crisis, not to mention one of the biggest deals we've seen in recent history. So if this happens, it would give M&A bankers plenty to be pleased about. The question is whether it makes sense for the ambitious buyer. Yeah, like you're saying, uh, M&A really back uh, on the agenda now. But in terms of how this deal would stack up for investors, good news? Well, for Sumitomo, it looks quite attractive. Uh, they will get a much bigger spread between what they pay on deposits and make on loans from RBS's citizens group than they do back at home. It's about twice as much. So you can see why they're keen to, to jump over the wall and start expanding in the U.S. Having said that, the price could be quite high because banks that are like citizens are trading on about 1.5 times book, which suggests an $18 billion price tag, and it's going to be quite hard for them to make a return. RBS, meanwhile, they'll be quite pleased because the new boss at RBS is trying to slim down, sell as much as possible outside the UK. So this would be a quick, neat exit. A hefty price tag, perhaps, but let's watch out for Sumitomo. Will it take over RBS's version of Citizens Retail Unit?